Welcome to the second part of my Corn Diary. After our plans to go to El Nido fell through, we decided to check out the northern part of Corn Island. We found a dive resort that seems to be the perfect fit, so we're heading over there after Zuri Hotel dropped us off at the airport. Within a short but scenic ferry ride through the mangrove forest, we arrive with the warmest welcome from the resort and the incredible serene view. We then checked into our cute beachside bungalow, which we immediately fell in love with. We had a short moment of R&R &R before we went out to book our dugong expedition for the next day, and to check out the facilities and house roofs within the resort. Around late afternoon, we went to the over-the-water bar with a gorgeous sunset in the background. While we were having a few drinks, we also got to chat with other guests from the resort. It was quite a touching experience to connect with people of different backgrounds and places in life, and to share a special memory here at this spot. We also grabbed dinner at the restaurant here, where they serve Filipino food with some good live music. We then had an early night knowing that we got a big day tomorrow. Our banka set off early in the morning, and we were en route to Kalawi National Park, where we might spot some dugongs. The journey there took two hours. We also had to stop halfway to pay the park entrance fee and pick up the dugong place. Diving with dugong is very opportunistic, meaning spotting a dugong is not always guaranteed. The weather, tide, visibility, or timing all had to be perfect. Since today was my birthday and we came a long way here, I really wanted to see the dugong. So we went from anxiously waiting, manifesting, to actively searching for about an hour or so. Just when I was ready to be disappointed, I saw a patch of shadow in the water moving towards me. I was euphoric, and a crew told me that that one was Aban, the most famous dugong in Coral Island. Before we even got to recover from the excitement of diving with dugong, we move on to our next destination, Green Island, to see some turtles. I'm better on the other side.
times always fly by so fast. On our way back, I remember I was feeling so lucky and full of gratitude, thinking this might have been the best birthday or even the best day of my life so far. When we got back to the resort, it was already late, so we headed straight to the diner. It turned out that Widya had prepared a birthday surprise for me, which unfortunately I didn't get to record on camera. But the night was super romantic and special, thanks to the resort staff. The next morning, Widya encouraged me to go for a hike to celebrate the first day of my new age. We then challenged ourselves the hard way up just for its symbolic meanings. Oh shit. Boy, look at all this ends. Hello. Coming to you live from the peak of every year my Almost to the top, to the top of the world. As you can probably tell from my face that this was not how I expected to start my 27, but the view was totally worth it. Later on, we checked out of our room and went back to Korong Town Center. We got to ride this interesting tricycle taxi to get to the restaurant we planned to visit. The restaurant was surprisingly quiet when we got there, most likely because it was not yet peak tourist season. But their food was very nice and authentic, reasonable price and had great vibes. You want food? <laughs> This is not food. Try food, the keyword. Food. <laughs> Sadly, the adventure ends here for us. We are now heading back to Sydney and hopefully plan for another trip this year. Thanks for watching and make sure to like and subscribe to follow my future voyages. See you next time!